YouTube. Today will be an unboxing of the HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless. This is a new 4G LTE network. Got this at Best Buy Mobile for $249.99 with an unlimited data plan of $29.99. I also got the Best Buy Mobile Black Tie warranty for $9.99. Replaces everything damage wise which is like cracks, drops, uh, water damage, um, pretty much anything for $9.99 a month. Uh, you can buy this at any time of your plan and you don't have to get every single month. I did not buy the future buyback plan because I believe I can sell a little bit higher than what they are selling because they can sell it for. I'm not really sure if I want to get buy it or not but I'll let you guys know. So this is kind of be on a fake unboxing because I had to activate it and I didn't want to go home and then cover, go already back to home so it's a kind of a re-unboxing. So I hope you guys like this unboxing. So what you get here is a sleeve says Verizon. Then it says HTC embossed on the sleeve right here. You pull it out. Then you get the same thing. It's embossed on top. Comes this nice black and red box. It looks kind of pink on my camera, but it's actually red. Then you get your extra device right here. I actually told them to leave all the plastic on so you can guys get a feel of the actual real unboxing. Then let's get to the rest of the stuff in the box. You get the HTC Thunderbolt Master Your Device Guide here. You also, there was a box for the LTE SIM card, which it's not in here, he threw away. I forgot to tell him to keep that, but you get a box with your card, LTE card and you just put it in the tray. Then you also get your adapter for the wall charger. It's really nothing to see, it's just a wall adapter. It's a module, USB based. A nice branding of HTC on it. And then you get your actual USB cable. You also have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card uh, pre-installed in the phone. It's not in the box. It's pre-installed for you. They pre-formatted everything. It's all set up for you guys. And then you get your actual uh, USB to the actual module to charge your phone. You do not get a pair of stereo headphones in here. I believe some people said you do, but you do not. And that's all you get in the box. You get your USB your module for the USB wall charger. You get a pre-installed 32GB micro SD card already formatted for your phone. You get your phone and you get your LTE 4G SIM card and that's it. So let's just power on the device. Take off the screen protector here. Take off the back screen protector. Let's see it here, the thunder. HCC, quietly brilliant. That's a hot boot up screen. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I think it's hot. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to turn off the sound of the thunder when it comes on. Uh, so you may not want to turn it on in the middle of a meeting. Now, my battery is really low. Now it says when you put it on, it says preparing a SIM card and then goes to your home screen. It takes about, you know, five, six seconds, eight seconds to everything for the phone to boot up and, and otherwise. As you can see right here, it says 4G. I don't have macro setting on my flip, but you can see 4G. Um, I do have 4G coverage in my area, obviously, and it's pretty, it's like really fast. So let me just do a quick speed test. I'm currently in my city, which I live in Philadelphia, which I should, really shouldn't be telling you. But it's 56 degrees and high B64. It's really, really nice out, guys. Um, so let's just load the internet. I'm going to show you how fast the internet is. Now, this is not on Wi-Fi. Just to clarify, this is all on 4G speeds. Let's reload this Google page. We're going to go to Classic. Now, let's count how fast it is. One, two, about two seconds. It's about as fast as um, regular Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, really blazing fast. It's fast as um, the fastest Verizon and HTC claimed it would be. One gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Uh, it is the second generation of it, I think. It's the newest one. Uh, it's not dual core. It is a one core gigahertz processor. It does come with Android on it. Let me just bring up the settings for it to show you guys. Menu. All apps. Settings. And let's see. About phone. Uh, software information. 
So you can see Android 2.2.1. Unfortunately, it's not Gingerbread on launch, but I think there is going to relaunch. I think they're going to launch Gingerbread uh, in the next coming two months. Not really sure about that. Um, the build number is 1.12.605.6. Uh, software is 1.12.605.6. Network speed is the LTE right there. That's pretty much it. I mean, it is running Android 2.2. Uh, the Sense version is 2.0, the newest for Sense version. As you can see, to view your Sense home screen, if you just pinch and you select uh, which screen you want to go to. And then the cool thing is about this, you can customize where you want their actual pages to go. So like, if I want my calendar right next to my home screen, um, I would then click there and it ends right there. Really nice feature. I'm really, really new to Sense. I'm not new to Android, but I am new to Sense. It's a huge learning curve if you guys are switching from iPhone, uh, if you're switching from a regular featured phone. I would say it's a very good phone. Definitely worth the money for you guys. I recommend to go pick this up. Although the battery life is not that great, I think you're going to get around uh, five to six hours maybe. Maybe a little bit less. Um, I haven't had a full on test with it, but it was I think it was halfway charged and I used it for three hours now and the battery is at 10%. I picked up extended battery which will be in the next unboxing. So that guys, I hope you guys like the HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless 4G LTE network, the fastest network in America. Hope you guys like, please comment, read, and subscribe, and peace.